There are wrinkles in my home theater screen. We love our home theater. It sounds great. It looks great. It's like having a window into the universe where you can let your imagination take you away and feel connected to all the things that are fun and beautiful and exciting. But when there are wrinkles in the corner of the screen, it's distracting. And then you realize you're just a guy sitting in the dark in the basement. So this is an ultra short throw projector onto Seymour fabric. And I built the frame myself out of two by fours. So I thought there might be a couple of issues that were allowing the fabric to wrinkle. Either the canvas wasn't stretched tightly enough or the wood frame, the natural materials were warping or distorting somehow. So my plan was to make the frame more rigid and to do a better job stretching the canvas. So the original frame had a rectangle with two vertical supports. To make it more rigid, I added metal brackets in the corners and two by four reinforcements. A diamond in the middle and side supports. And these supports were set so they wouldn't block the center channel or the left and right channels because the fabric is acoustically transparent I didn't want any part of the frame to block the sound coming through the screen. Also, if this is my wall and my 2x4 frame is like this, then the fabric of the screen was wrapped around it like this. So that means it would have had one, two, three, four points that that fabric was bending 90 degrees. And I thought that might give it some resistance to having it stretched appropriately. So I also changed the design on the corners of the frame. I added this rounded trim from the home improvement store. It was glued to the frame. And then I also put some finishing nails in. So now the fabric of the screen would stretch around this rounded corner and not really a 90 degree corner there, um, but there's a lot less resistance to stretching the fabric. I also got a canvas stretching tool. So you grip the canvas like this and as you pull, you, you can stretch it better. When we put the, the screen back on to stretch it, this is a two-person job. You gotta get serious about it. So my son that is a weightlifter, he used the canvas tool to stretch and I would put the staples in. Another thing to consider. We might think that you wanna stretch here first, two, three, stretch four directions and then start stretching. We tend to think of this stretch in parallel or perpendicular increments, but if you look closely at the fabric, they have, they have cut the, they've cut the weave. The weave doesn't run perpendicular. The weave actually runs like this. And they've cut it that way so that you're less likely to see imperfections when the light hits the, proje the projector screen. So when we stretched the fabric, we started in the four 
centers. And then we followed the weave of the fabric. So we stretched here, then here, here, and here. And that way we're stretching along the long axis of those fibers. I stretched here, then down here, here, and that gave us a better stretch, a flatter stretch to get rid of the wrinkles. Um, and by the time we were done, it was perfect. No wrinkles. The image looks fantastic. Um, and I will show you here some before and afters. It really has improved the, the image. And enjoy. Seymour Screens makes masking panels that will convert the aspect ratio of your screen. These are attached by magnets, so I had to build the magnets into my DIY frame. So the way the canvas stretched over that corner, um, there's, there's a gap between the screen and that frame. Behind the fabric was a little plate with a magnet on it. And that magnet is flush with the trim so it wouldn't wrinkle or deform the screen. These are held in place by magnets and little clips that look like guitar picks. So I had built into the frame some metal brackets that would support those clips and the brackets were covered with Yan Dude Velvet Tape. Here's a comparison of what the masking panels do. They just make the, the trim of the image blacker so you can focus on the movie you're watching.